Hi, Gary Lowen, Central City Brewing. Um, today I'd like to talk about our cask program. Go to Cask Ale is, is a beer um, re-fermented a second time within an English firkin. Now an English firkin is uh, a 40 liter size keg that has a tapping bung on the side of it and a capping bung on the end of it here. So what, what we do as a, a brewer, we'll take uh, an existing beer that we have in our brewery somewhere and we'll augment it. You know, what I mean by is if it's a pale ale, we'll add some extra hop flowers to it, as well as adding some priming sugar and some brewer's yeast. The yeast we'll do is uh, we'll take a beer that is uh, flat or very, very lightly carbonated. And when we add the sugar, and uh, the yeast, the yeast will eat the sugar and carbonate the beer on its own through its metabolism. Now today, doing a stout, I took our oatmeal stout. I had some uh, demerara sugar as from priming sugar. I had some uh, vodka soaked uh, vanilla bean pods. And uh, I put everything together into the English firkin, uh, along with some brewer's yeast and some of the stout. And we filled it up. And we had lots of fun rolling it around to stir it all up and from there we'll let it sit for about two weeks uh, give the yeast its time to uh, create the uh, co2 within the cask itself and uh, at that time it's ready for service now what i like about casks are they are real live beers which means that uh, the yeast is still present within the beer uh, to some some degree so you're drinking a very live product and usually a product that's at its prime shape for drinking. And uh, once a cask is tapped, uh, it has to be consumed all within the same night uh, because it's usually fed through gravity and then air uh, it will get into the cask. So at Central City Brewing, uh, we have a cask night, which is the last Saturday of every month. And he asks his brewers like to experiment a little bit too. So you'll usually find something in the cask which you won't be able to get on, on tap uh, as a normal beer. And uh, please come down and try uh, these casks. We experiment all the time. Uh, for instance, I'll, uh, I might put some, some oak chips in the barrels so we can, it'll have a little bit of a, uh, a wood flavor or I'll, I'll, I'll maybe I'll soak the oak chips in bourbon or, or port and that'll induce a little bit of flavor. And uh, we usually tap this cask um, at four, about four o'clock on, on the last Saturday every month. And it won't last very long. It usually lasts for about an hour or two. So you gotta be here fairly early to try this cask. 